With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, linear mass density of a thin rod AB is L varies from A to B like this where x is the distance from A and m is the mass of the rod. You have to find out the moment of inertia about an axis passing through A and perpendicular to the rod. So if I draw a rod like this, this is, a, this is a rod. So it is said that at a distance of x, at a distance of x, I took a element dx, right? So if you see here, this is the dx at a distance of x. So this dx element have linear mass density this. So you can calculate the mass of this dx by multiplying mass per unit into length. Length is dx, this. Right. So, lambda is varying with x as lambda naught into 1 plus x by L. Right. Okay. So, now you could integrate it to find out the mass. And if I take the moment of inertia of this element, so you can calculate that moment of inertia also. So, let's see. If I say the moment of inertia of this element. So the moment of inertia will be di equals to dm into x square where x is this distance. So I, I, I wrote here this dm particle is at a distance of x from the axis, right? So this will be the moment of inertia of this dm particle. So if I will integrate this expression, then I will get the moment of inertia of the both rod. And if I will integrate the this expression, then I will get the mass of the whole rod. Right? So let's write down, let's integrate the mass first. So the mass is capital M. It is given in the question, right? So this mass is equals to, so if you see, I took lambda naught outside and the x is varying from 0 to L and uh, here I will write dx plus integration x by L dx 0 to L and the whole expression is multiplied by this lambda. Right? So you could integrate it. Right? So I will write uh, dx integration is x 0 to L plus x square by 2 where x is varying from 0 to L lambda naught. So I will write lambda naught is equals to L plus L square by 2L it will be L by 2. Right. So I will write the M is equals to L no, uh, lambda naught into 3L by 2. So from here you will get the value of lambda naught is equals to 2m by 3l. Now let's talk about the moment of inertia. So we already seen that the dm mass have the moment of inertia this and if I integrate this expression then I will get the moment of inertia of the whole rod. So I will write the moment of inertia of the whole rod. So dm we already calculated this. this. So I will multiply dm with x square. So lambda naught is a constant into x square plus x cube by L integrated with, with, with respect to dx, right? So if we will integrate this expression, you will get x cube by 3 plus x to the power 4 by 4L. So the limit will be from 0 to L. So I will put the limit here will be equals to the moment of inertia. Now, just uh, put the value of x. So, if I put the value of x is equals to L, then I will get L cube by 3 plus L to the power 4 by 4L. So, this will get cancelled out and you will get L cube by 4 into lambda naught. 
so if i take this l cube common then in bracket i will get 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 now you could take the lcm so i will write 12 here i will write 4 plus 3 into lambda naught l cube so you will get 7 by 12 lambda naught l cube is equals to i now we already calculated the value for lambda is equals to 2m by 3l so i will write i is equals to 7 by 12 lambda naught is 2m by 3l and into l cube so this will be cancelled out by 2 and you will cancel out this by 6 and you will get 7 by 18 m l square and this will be our answer now you could see 7 by 18 ml square is b option so b is the correct option thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today